Hello, welcome to the short presentation on FastMan's Permissions Manager. Permissions Manager is used by organizations around the world to view, manage, and control permissions in their OpenText Content Server system. Regardless of how you access information in Content Server, and be it a mobile device, uh, the web browser, um, Enterprise Connect, or even the new CS16 Smart UI, you do so through the permissions layer. Permissions controls what you can see and what you can do with that information. And in some cases, it's also used to control which functions of particular modules you're able to access. So it's a very core feature and function uh, layer of Content Server itself. However, organizations over the years have been reluctant to fully utilize that through some uh, gaps in the uh, standard tools that are provided uh, with Content Server. And Fastman has addressed that um, through uh, this rich dashboard which you're seeing here. And uh, by bringing together all of the standard uh, open text uh, functions and adding a number of our own, so that as users or as administrators, you're able to see and uh, understand permissions and also make changes to permissions very quickly and very easily. Uh, because if you can't see and understand permissions as, a, as they are actually applied in your system, it's very hard to be sure that those uh, permission settings or those uh, groups and users uh, as defined are actually giving you the outcome that you intend. And so there's a risk of uh, non-compliance uh, or uh, of information access that, uh, that you don't want. We do that through a number of features. Uh, of course, there's a standard edit permissions features and so on that Content Server provides. Uh, we also do it through the filtering uh, and the effective permissions. So as a user, you're able to see, uh, or as an administrator, you're able to see how permissions are built uh, up and uh, how access is granted uh, to a user or to a group of users. We also provide you with a search function, which is not available out of the box in Content Server. Uh, so you're able to search on particular access rights that a user or groups may have on particular object types and in certain locations in your system. And after you've had that set of, that, uh, set of search results, you're able to take action directly from that set of results. Um, unusually, uh, Content Server does not have a deny access flag. So whatever access is granted is in place, regardless of what other access rights you might apply uh, to an item. Uh, if you're a user who doesn't have edit permissions rights, uh, we also uh, have the ability to be able to give you a view of permissions some organizations like that um, to reduce the number of calls to service desks uh, and to make uh, it easier for people to work with the information. Uh, some other organizations uh, prefer not to, and that's fully up to them to decide. Um, of course, like any enterprise system, uh, Content Server is not static. So what we're seeing here is a lot of the change and edit permission functionality we provide. Uh, uh, again, out of the box, you're very limited in what you can do with this. Um, we're able to provide you with a very rich set of tools to uh, either change permissions on one item, several items, thousands of items, or even hundreds of thousands of items, or completely replace them. Uh, we can do that uh, at a very uh, global level or at a highly granular level, and we're also able to do it in such a way that you can preview, preview and see those, uh, the uh, outcome of those uh, changes before they actually get made. Um, and of course, as those changes are being processed, you get to see a fully detailed uh, summary of what's taking place. Uh, you don't have to use the standard uh, edit permissions or permissions function anymore. You can use ours uh, completely. Uh, you can replace a user uh, or remove a user or group uh, from uh, an item uh, and not affect the actual permission settings that have been made to that item. And it has no effect on any other permissions that are set in the system. You can manage great group memberships. Uh, you can make one group, uh, sorry, one user exactly the same as another user. These are all permissions managers functions. And really we're just doing a very high level view of them all. You can roll back changes. Let's assume you've made a change that, or someone's made a change that had an outcome that wasn't intended. Uh, we can roll that back. Fastman has a statement that says, uh, less clicks, more results. This is a classic example. With only a few clicks, you're able to undo um, uh, some changes that would other otherwise likely take you days to figure out. Uh, we've got reporting modules, obviously, so you can do it for audit purposes or for archiving. And as a system administrator, you're uh, able to control who can do what uh, with this product uh, and on what items, either a global or an individual user level. Uh, we have a um, 
uh, a templating function which is not demonstrated here, or not shown here. So you're able to create, um, save, uh, and publish uh, templates uh, for certain content types or certain uh, areas of the system and share them with specific users um, as need be. For example, contracts. You might say, uh, this is the template for contracts uh, and, and these particular people can use that template. Um, and hopefully through this very, very quick um, overview, you see some of the value that we provide um, and the ability to be able to use permissions much more effectively and much more broadly, safe in the knowledge that any changes that you make uh, are easily understood uh, and, uh, and any other changes that need to be made can be made. Please feel free to contact us uh, for a more detailed uh, presentation. Thank you.